Yes, basically I manage operation sites of the services team. Okay, recently we shifted remotely, and uh, we are a complete remote company now. Okay, uh -huh. when I started initially working remotely, I had uh, this type of feeling. It's like I'm not able to work. Uh, I, I'm working at a stretch, <laughs> and uh, not taking a much break. Uh, it is like not taking uh, proper enthusiasm and uh, not taking advantage of remote working. Okay. So together we discovered few pointers. I discussed these points <laughs> with my colleagues and they were also facing similar problems. So together we discussed few points and uh, I termed it as techniques. Okay. So it is basically techniques to manage time, uh, communication, task list and health. Okay. So these are my learnings and I'm here to share these learnings with you. Uh, this definitely worked out for me. I hope that will also work out for you. Okay. So before we actually deep dive into the techniques part, how many of you are currently working remotely? Can you please raise your hand? Okay. Uh, and how many of you are managers? Okay. Very few. <laughs> no worries. Let's start with the techniques part. First one is a Pomodoro technique. Okay. Uh, this is a screenshot of pomofocus.io. Uh, it has their own website, it has their own app as well. Okay, basically it tells you that you work for 25 minutes, you take 5 minutes of break, you again work for 25 minutes and again take 5 minutes of break. And after 4 such sessions, you take 15 minutes of break. Okay. Uh, see, you may find it contradictory that, okay, one sh uh, should, you might have listened that one should do a deep work, more focused work. Okay, and you think that you may think that the taking a short breaks will spoil it, but it is not the case. Uh, taking a short breaks will actually help you to be more productive. So while taking a break, you may uh, you may just get up on a chair, uh, take a sip of water, uh, just do some stretching exercises, anything uh, that will actually refresh you uh, from whatever you are doing. Okay, so it is basically taking a regain or regain your focus back. And uh, this app as well allows you to uh, change the focus time as well as the break time. So you can change the from th th 5 minutes to 3 minutes or and, uh, focus time from 30 minutes to 60 minutes as per your requirement. Okay. Um, next one is the focus time. Okay. Um, so my focus time will be different. Everyone's focus time and everyone's situation is different. Okay. So uh, let's say I have uh, less distractions during my morning time and uh, less things from my colleagues, uh, less meetings, uh, very, uh, I mean, quite uh, noise, non-noisy timing in the morning time, okay? For someone else, it could be uh, in the afternoon, it could be in the evening, okay? So try to find out the best uh, focus time that will help you uh, and that will help you to mo uh, work in a consecutive manner in the more complicated task you can schedule in that particular focus time. Okay. Uh, hmm. So do you know, any of you know your focus time, uh, which is could be a less distracting time for you, uh, where there are less things, uh, any of you know? Uh, super. Okay, so try to find out your focus time. Uh, see, it could be in the remote working or, uh, or it could be if you are working uh, from office also. Okay, there will be certain time that will help you to, f uh, that there will be less meetings, uh, less distractions. The, uh, so try to find out that focus time and uh, make best utilization of it. Okay. Uh, next point is set social media time and social time. Okay. So we talked about uh, working remotely, we, uh, we talked about working in a focused manner, taking a short break. But it is also important that we have some social time as well. Okay. Uh, see, social time could be your family, friends, uh, colleagues, or just attending the board camps uh, or WordPress meetups. Uh, in a way, that will help you uh, to uh, gain, your, gain some knowledge from somebody and uh, to share your knowledge. Okay. It is also important that we have some social media time as well. Okay, so uh, some people are including me, I mean, uh, we try to look at the phone and even if the phone is not buzzing, we uh, look at the phone and see if there is any notification or uh, uh, we scroll down to the news, uh, social media website and we lose a track of time, okay. If you are also facing similar kind of problem, uh, you can use uh, tools like freedom, momentum, okay, that will help you to remain focused. 
okay uh, you can install these tools in uh, on your phone or as um, on your laptop okay on a desktop basically uh, that will help you to keep uh, in a focus manner and it will basically show you some notification that okay you have, uh, it's time to focus back okay uh, suppose you schedule the social media time see scheduling the social media time could be a different concept okay but try to uh, try to give it a shot okay let's say you schedule the social media time after your lunch break okay similar kind of problem you might you might face at the same time right uh, the hack is you schedule some meeting after that okay so ultimately you need to go uh, go to meeting just to prepare the meeting or just to attend the meeting so you will stop the social media and you will attend the meeting okay so this covers the time part now we'll move on to the communication part okay in remote working it is important that we have clear and concise communication see many job position if you see uh, you will see an option that uh, one should have a proactive communication okay um, on top of it i will say uh, you over communicate in the remote working let's say uh, if i given her some task to my colleague okay if i shared some information and i assume that my colleague will take that task ahead okay instead of this assumption if i say it to my colleague that okay you uh, i have given you all the information you take this task ahead in case you face any difficulty you let me know okay that way you are making it very clear to your colleague as well as it is making you clear that okay the person will take this task ahead okay uh in the remote working it is also important that we uh, keep some uh, clear we choose the right medium of communication okay suppose you want to give some critical feedback to someone else or uh, you may want to receive the feedback at then and there uh, let's say you want to give the demo and uh, take the initial feedback so that you can work progressively okay in this case uh, tools like a video conferencing tool like a call over zoom uh, google meet or uh, skype whichever communication you are using uh that will be helpful in case you are um, uh, you want a response in an hour or two uh then you choose the slack or the google chat basically the messaging communication tool okay in case the uh, task is where the person can take his or her time and respond you back okay uh then the project management tool or uh, the email communication will be more beneficial okay uh as so you set the context also like you are expecting a response by tomorrow or so and so date okay that way i am making it very clear for the other person you are not disturbing the person as well and um, um, you are giving the person time that okay the person can this uh, or uh, take a time and respond you back think on the topic and respond you back okay now there are some tools uh, so this is a screenshot of grammarly okay uh, it will help you to understand if your message is clear enough uh, okay Mm-hmm. so as you type uh, some message okay you decide uh, i mean you can set what is the intended audience of the message what is the uh, intended intense uh, intention of the message if you are trying to convince something or if you are pr- uh, trying to just provide information for purpose okay as you type the message you will see some uh, score is getting calculated on the right hand side corner and you will see there are some uh, mm, parameters that also gets uh, calculated so it, this will help you to understand if the message is clear enough if the message uh, is uh, intended enough if the delivery is proper or it is slightly off or do you need to make any changes to it okay now uh, there are some ai tools like a chat gpt and other which will help you to create your message or uh, which will help you to take the minutes of the meeting okay so uh, the ta- intent of the message that you want to convey and the message that gets auto generated you try to understand whether they are aligned and uh, uh, before you actually send send it to someone okay just make sure that both the messages are aligned with each other and uh, then you can send it okay uh, next one is a clockwise tool okay so in the remote working you may find a problem that uh, okay you have four meetings let's say in the day and um, uh, you may think that okay i have uh, done attended on so many meetings but i have actually not uh, done any of my task list okay i have not covered my any of the task list okay 
so to avoid kind of such kind of situation clockwise tool will help into a picture okay what you need to do is you and your colleagues need to enable the clockwise tool okay uh, that will tell you the alternative time slot of the meeting if and only if any of the attendees in the meeting will have more focus time okay uh, so this is one of the tool that you can use to gain more focus time and basically try to arrange the meetings uh, in the consecutive manner see it is not always uh, in our hand but try to arrange in a consecutive manner and have a 5 to 10 minute short breaks in between okay so this covers the communication part now we'll move on to the most important the task management part okay um, so one should have a task list and you should prioritize your task list okay so the isnor matrix will come into the picture uh, and will help you to prioritize your task list okay so if the task is urgent and important we tend to do it immediately okay uh, but if the task is not urgent not urgent to be done immediately and uh, if the task is important uh, you try to schedule it okay now the problem i was facing is if the task is boring let's say i want to create some reports okay i will schedule it for tomorrow tomorrow uh, some more task will come in and uh, ultimately i will delay that task because it is ultimately boring task okay so now what i'm trying is <laughs> i'm trying to complete the task first thing in the morning so that will help you it's like eating the frog uh, the major boring chunk of the task is finished and now i'm left with other task which is manageable for me okay similarly if the task will take just 2 minutes uh -huh, you try to do it immediately uh, instead of delaying the task further okay this will ultimately delay the task uh, ultimately increase your task list it is um, it is not a win win situation 2 minutes task could be uh, you are just providing some information to someone else or a very small feedback form you want to fill in okay um, let's say the task is not urgent not important please delete that task okay do not even maintain your to do list okay if you maintain in your to do list then your to do list will become overwhelming and you may think that see i don't want to work on anything okay to avoid this kind of situation please delete that task do not even maintain in your to do list okay now if the task is urgent but not important not important in the sense it is not important that you only you need to do it okay uh, let's say if as a task is urgent if you keep it with yourself uh, there is a high chance that the task will get delayed okay and it will have unnecessary penalty mm -hmm. so to avoid this kind of situation or uh, let's say you want to empower your colleagues uh, so that they will also learn and they should be able to handle this, this kind of task then you delegate the task okay now uh, see sometimes if you delegate the task that you you pass on the responsibility to somebody else but the accountability is accountability still lies with you okay in this kind of situation our next text will co uh, come into the picture this is called as a gmail multiple inboxes technique okay so this technique was introduced to us by our cto mr arunesh para Uh, so basically, in our organi organization, we have an advantage that whatever tool we are using, we get the notification over as Gmail. Okay. In case this is not the case with you, okay, you try to understand the concept behind it and try to ap uh, apply it in your organization in whichever tools you are using. Okay. Uh, coming back to the techniques, uh -huh. in the Gmail settings, you basically go to an inbox and enable the multiple inbox. okay and you can set some labels labels are basically filters or uh, for filtering you can use it okay i have set three labels three are enough for me max to max you can set five labels okay i have set needs a reply awaiting reply and ops reply okay so when you enable this setting your inbox will look like this okay now uh, let's say you are using sub inbox which uh, let's say you are in gmail inbox currently look like a uh, few tabs in it like a primary uh, forum social and you enable this kind of setting you will feel disaster okay but take a deep breath and you need to do it <laughs> because this is a one time action that you need to complete it uh, so that your further uh, part will be easy okay uh, let's say you are doing some focus work and uh, some notification pops in okay uh and you understand that you need to take some action on it okay you mark it as a needs a reply okay and let's say uh, you understand that you can delegate the task to someone else okay you mark it as ops reply okay uh, uh let's say um, 
if you are marked that a task has needs a reply, that means the task is not very urgent. Okay, so you don't need to interrupt in between in the current task, and uh, you can continue with the current task. So once the current task is finished, okay, or after the end of the day, you come back to your inbox, see if there are any items in the needs a reply section. Okay, uh, if you take the intended action. Let's say you send some notification to uh, to some clients or to the recipient, anybody, and you are expecting certain response from them. Okay, in that case, you add a label as awaiting reply. Okay, uh, on the next day when you log in, if there are any items in the awaiting reply section, and if the uh, re intended response has not been uh, come yet, okay, you may decide to follow up with them or you may decide to wait. Okay, similarly, if there are items in the opt reply section. Uh, and the intended action has not been taken place you can decide to follow up with your colleagues or uh, or the third party services whom you are delegated the work okay so this is not an alternative for uh, task prioritization or task management it will just help you to keep the track of the thing to make your life easier okay uh, so this covers the task management part uh, now we'll move on to the last section it is called as a health okay set some office space mm, okay so this may sound uh, like this is like what mm. but this will help you to uh, see this will help for people around you to understand okay now the person is working i may not distract him or her more okay and uh, uh, see working remotely public work in a uh, uh, what you can say in the uh, don't take any more breaks they don't take a short breaks okay and uh, end up having a neck problem or muscle stiffness problem or such kind of problem therefore it is important you keep office space and uh, you keep the chair and the uh, desk position in an appropriate manner so that your posture is correct okay uh, work from home gives you the flexibility to work in pajamas also okay uh, but uh, uh, but you work i mean dress appropriately so that uh, you will you will feel enthusiastic to work okay uh, next one is keep some small habit okay uh, so if you take care of your physical health if basically if you take care of your body you will be more focused and if you take care of your mind you will be less anxious and more focused okay so you at least have one small habit uh, that will support your physical health or the mental health and the mental health for the matter so it could be uh, walking it could be running mm, meditation mm, or swimming singing anything anything that will help you uh, in to maintain your physical health as well as the uh, uh, mental health okay uh, so how many of you have one small habit in your daily routine or in your weekly routine uh, that will support your physical health or the mental health anybody has super very few people okay so uh, see the general excuse we get is uh, we have very short we are very short of time okay therefore we are not able to focus on our health but uh, as we all know and we all agree to it that health is very important that will take if you take care of health uh, ultimately it will take care of everything else okay uh, so do take a time out uh, at least you start with the 10 minutes if not longer duration but at in the, in the 24 hours take 10 minutes for you and uh, have some small habit at least okay now the last point is the two day rule okay let's say from tomorrow you decide you will go on a walk for 30 minutes okay you go on a walk for a few days mm -hmm, yeah, and one fine day you think that I want to skip the walk okay you skip that that is fine on the next day also you have a similar kind of feel okay i will request you on the next day you don't skip the walk uh, not for 30 minutes at least go on five minutes 10 minutes okay uh, see whenever you are trying to build a new activity in your daily schedule uh, to keep the momentum going on uh, follow the two day rule one day you skip it is okay one consecutive day you do not skip okay so that is called as a two day rule uh, okay so just to summarize, we discuss Pomodoro technique. Okay, you take a short breaks in between. Uh, uh, take have a focus time. Find out your focus time. Um, yes. 
have some social breaks okay over communicate in the remote working prioritize your to do list uh, maintain your to uh, maintain your to do list basically uh, you can use a multiple gmail inboxes technique or any uh, or the similar kind of thing that will help you to track the things uh, that you are delegated to someone or uh, that you want you want to follow with the someone okay set some of office fees keep at least one small habit that will help you in your physical health and in the mental health and uh, follow the two day rule okay uh, just to keep the momentum going on i hope you have some takeaways uh, at least you find out your focus strength okay uh, build some small habit and follow the two day rule so that you will keep the momentum going on okay i will be happy to listen to your stories uh, after few weeks after few months whenever possible okay so uh, sorry do you want to take so thank you wordcamp kathmandu uh, for giving me this opportunity and thank you all for listening to me